Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to come over here and visit with us over at Rochester's Heating and Air. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a Kentucky Master HVAC contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And we're shooting a brief little series on the basics of digital multimeters. And uh, out of the kindness of uh, Ideal Industries and Ron Kipper, who is Ideal's retail corporate uh, product trainer, we have permission to utilize this PDF and uh, hopefully it's going to help some of y'all out some. So, uh, alright guys, let's get started. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking the time to come over here and visit with us over on uh, the basics of digital multimeters. And this is going to be part two um, to our little series we're shooting here. And basically guys, this is going to be just a little addendum to uh, part one. It's going to be a short video. And it's basically we still need to get a, a grasp on uh, just the basic foundations of electricity. So let's go ahead and get started here guys. Electrical circuits. In an electrical system, there are two ways that loads are connected in a circuit. They're either connected in series or they're connected in parallel. In a series circuit, each device is connected together in a line. Current flows through each device connected to the circuit. If you were to increase the resistor in the series circuit shown below, the light would dim. You have restricted the flow of available current to the light. in parallel circuit. The same amount of voltage is applied to each device. Current can flow freely through each device without affecting another. Our homes are wired in parallel for this reason. When making measurements with a digital multimeter, it is important to remember that voltage measurements are made with the test leads connected in parallel and current measurements are made with the test leads connected in series. Tech note. The number one mistake made when using modern multimeters is to try and measure voltage with the test leads in the current input jacks. The input impedance of the current input jacks is in the range of 0 0.1 ohms to around 8 ohms depending on the manufacturer. The low impedance is like a short circuit when making a voltage measurement. Because of this low resistance and possible short circuit condition, most multimeters current input jacks are fused for protection. Well constructed meters will use a high energy fuse for this protection, but you will blow the fuse if you test in this manner. Okay guys, that wraps up part two. Um, I reckon we're going to move on to part three and we're actually going to get into the, uh, the functions of, uh, of a multimeter. Um, I'm hoping y'all are enjoying this little series, um, and if, if y'all would, I'd appreciate it if y'all go check out uh, Ron Kipper Datacom right here on YouTube. I'll leave a link below. Thanks so much for watching, and we're going to move on to part three. <laughs>